Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Pocophone F1 and today we're going to try yet another new ROM. Some of you might have tried it, I have not. The name of the ROM is CZMOS, the version is 3, it's official and Android version is 11. So yeah, we're going to try that and see how it goes. But before we do all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And we have a Telegram channel with a Telegram discussion group where we actually have a lot of fun and we have access to a lot of new information every single day. So join that as well. If you wish to support the channel, click on the join button. Our memberships are highly rewarding and very, very less when it comes to others' channel in terms of charges. So without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so before we begin the installation process, I will show you the XDA page. The steps that they recommend is take a backup of your phone, boot to TWRP and wipe system data, vendor and Dalvik and cache, flash ROM, reboot system, set up your device, flash gapps, midges, etc, etc. So yeah, we will follow our own, pro own process over there. The files that you will need is of course the vendor firmware, the ROM file and the NIC gapps that is Android 11. Make sure all the data on your phone is backed up and make sure you have more than 50% battery because as always my installation method is unapologetically very very straightforward a cleanest install will give you the best experience on any custom rom if you have 100 gigs of data or 200 it really depends you can use dfe and other things which we will get back to next week but for now we're going to format data we're going to wipe everything and we have stuff on this pen drive which we're going to flash so what's the worry don't worry let's get flashing so let's reboot into recovery let's see if this rom allows us to do a advanced restart yes it does let's go to recovery here and you need to have twrp of course logic right yeah you cannot flash roms without a custom recovery like twrp just kidding there guys so once it boots into recovery swipe to enter the system there we go wipe format data hit yes okay Reboot Recovery. To my regular subscribers who watch my videos every single day, I'm so glad this one week I'm traveling and making installment preview videos for every single day because you guys would become flash experts by the time I'm back and uh, yeah, you would not have any hesitation flashing any ROM then. Anyways, so let's hit wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, cache, system, vendor, data, internal storage. Yep, once everything is wiped, Let's go to install, select storage, USB OTG and select your files which are in the POCO F1 folder. So first we're going to need the firmware, add more zips and then we're going to look for CZMOS, add more zips and NIC G apps, swipe to confirm flash. So these are three files that we are flashing, which of course will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, so as you can see over here, everything has been flashed. So wipe cache in Dalvik and reboot system, do not install. The first boot as always will take anywhere between two to five minutes. Let's wait for the boot animation that I don't know why with every custom ROM that is a exciting thing for me. I like new boot animations. It says R. Is it for Android R? CZMOS, I don't know what that means. But yeah, pretty, pretty basic. It, it's more like a snapshot, not even a boot animation. So, mm, nah, not impressed. Let's wait for the phone to boot up. Okay, we are on the home screen and it does say CZMOS. I might be pronouncing that wrong, so excuse me there. Square icons over here or, yeah. So let's turn off auto display in just one of the previous videos i said i really really like it when a rom boots with dark mode do that it looks better guys come on it's 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 smoother on the eyes as well at least for me it is anyways let's go to about phone and let's go to android version it says cesium os get active by that logic it should be a very very fast rom i'm not sure anyways november security patch build date 3rd of november what apps do we have here oh this is even better uh, yeah, they have not. Yeah, they have a camera application. Let's see what we have here. Yep. 
All the ROMs are using the same basic camera application. You do have YouTube Vanced and Play Store. So very, very minimalistic ROM. I like the sound of that, minimalistic. If we go to settings over here, we should have something, oh, radioactive tweaks. So the term cesium might have got to do something with, yeah, nuclear, I don't know. So status bar, lock screen, UI tuner, notifications, navigations, and buttons. So initially they do have very, very basic amount of customization and the icons look all square. So I'm pretty sure you can change that. They don't have a Google Now feed to the left. Let's see what launcher we are running. So let's go to home settings over here. It's a very, very basic, basic launcher. So not much in the settings. Uh, you do have a toggle for dark theme, which is a good thing. I didn't see that earlier. Anyways, you do have screen recorder and all the Android 11 goodies, digital well-being and parental controls are there. So yeah, it looks like a very promising ROM yet again, but you know, this is something I'm going to have to try and see how it goes because a lot of new ROMs are coming for this particular device. Some are great, some are not that great, but you never know once you use the ROM, you actually come to know. Let me know in the comment section if you actually want me to review this ROM. I'm not that interested because I don't like the look of it. It's very, very basic. That might be a good thing to you. So let me know in the comment section. For now, this was a very, very quick install and preview of a new ROM called Cesium OS for the Pocophone F1. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.